let us see how you can set a webhook url in your whatsapp business api click on this view icon click on webhook and then click on add webhook enter a title enter your url now we have two types of webhook first is inbound and second is outbound all the incoming messages as well as the read delivered failed or the error message status updates from meta come in the inbound webhook kindly select the cloud structure and then click on add webhook in case you want to keep a record of all the outgoing messages that you send via your whatsapp business api number on your own server then you can set an outbound webhook in this case all the outgoing messages from your whatsapp api number will also be sent to this webhook url so inbound is meant for all the incoming data to your waba container and outbound is meant for all the outgoing data to your waba container message status webhook is basically the inbound webhook that is the read delivered failed errors any kind of incoming data on your whatsapp api docker is received in the inbound webhook so this is how you can add a webhook to uh, to your whatsapp business api number thank you